This is the Basis Pico Go. It's a 45 watt USB C wall adapter. I was sent this to review for free. If you wanted to purchase it, I've seen it listed for about $20. They haven't paid me for my review, and my opinions remain my own. So in the box, we have a quick start guide, it also looks like a pack of stickers, and the PicoGo adapter. Now, I don't believe it comes with a cable. Yeah, box is empty. So you will be providing your own USB-C cable. All right, what you need to know from the quick start guide is it has a 24 month warranty, lifetime technical support. To use the product, you plug it in. Um, specifications here, it's a universal AC adapter, 50, 60 hertz from 100 to 240 volts AC. It draws 1.5 amps max from the AC side of things. Now production output on the USB-C port, it does 5 volts, 9 volts, and 12 volts, and 15 volts all at 3 amps. And then at 20 volts, it'll do 2.25 amps max. Um, so it supports the various specifications of power delivery 3, programmable power supply, quick charge 3, FCP, SCP, AFC. I don't even know what those last ones mean. Um, you should not throw it away in the trash when you're done with it. Alright, so this guy feels dense in the hand. It's a very diminutive little power adapter for a 45 watt adapter. Um, it's GAN technology. And I'm going to plug it in and see how hot it does get, but it's supposed to be relatively efficient for its size. So it weighs just under 3 ounces, or 82 grams. Alright, so I have a 3 amp 5 volt USB load, and it is hitting 3 amps, but the voltage is sagged to 4.4 volts. So I'm changing out this cable to a 100 watt rated cable, just to see if it's not, make sure it's not the cable. All right, so we're at a 1.98 amp draw, and the voltage here is 4.8 volts. So this cable has slightly less voltage sag, but still 4.8 volts is, is, is kind of a decent amount of sag. So when I run this guy up to the 3 amp level, so there we're hitting 3 amps and the voltage here is sagged to 4.6 volts so it's really only doing 14 watts at the nominally 5 volt level but it's 4.6 volts. So you know for something that claims to be able to do 5 volts at 3 amps that voltage is sagging quite a bit. So I would say, you know, maybe two and a half amps. Let's see what two and a half amps can do here. So yeah, two and a half amps, it's 4.75 volts. I'd like to see that at like 4.8, 4.9. So here's two amps, it's 4.8 volts. All right, it's hit the nine volt level and it's delivering nine volts to this pad just fine. All right, I have a programmable power supply cable here, and it is hitting the 12 volt level at the programmable power supply just fine. So I assume it can also hit 12 volts with USB-C power delivery. All right, I'm going to try this with my large load at 20 watt or 20 volts. Okay, we are negotiating. It should go up to 20 volts here. So there is 19. Point six volts and it is 2.29 amps and it is delivering 45 watts. So this guy steps it up at the higher voltage levels. You know, 20 volts, it's getting 19.7, 19.69 9 volts. Um, it's hitting the 2.25, it's actually 2.3 amp rating, and it is delivering slightly over the rated 45 watts. So this is a 45 watt adapter, but it's not optimized for high amperage, low voltage situations. Um, most of your cell phones are going to be at 9 or 12 volts charging. Your tablets might get up to maybe 15. So I would say this guy is certainly suitable for small laptop computers, pretty much any tablet or cell phone. Um, but I wouldn't necessarily recommend it for a 5 volt load that's you know trying to get a full 3 amps at 5 volts. Alright, I'm going to run this at 45 watts for 30 minutes and then we will take a look at the heat from the power adapter. 
All right, this guy has been providing 45 watts to my load for about 35 minutes now. So temperature wise up here, my thermal camera is saying 125 Fahrenheit is the warm spot. Um, you know, so if I put my hand on that, it's definitely warmer than my hand. It's hot to the touch, um, but it's not like so hot that I can't keep my fingers on it. And reaching around, it feels like it's kind of hot all over, kind of evenly distributed throughout that. I'm going to unplug it from the wall, kind of take a look at it here. Um, you know, 130 is the hot point there. And it's, you know, it's definitely hot to the touch. It's definitely dissipating some heat, but it doesn't seem unreasonable because that's a really small device. So, you know, you would kind of expect a device that size to be, you know, getting pretty warm and getting hot to the touch. Um, so, you know, that seems reasonable for the fact that I've been pulling 45 watts out of this for 35 minutes. All right, so this guy is quite small for a 45 watt power delivery adapter. Um, I think you're gonna be pretty happy with this. Now, obviously it doesn't have a USB-A port, so you have to have already consolidated all your devices to power delivery USB-C ports. Um, and it can only charge one device at a time. But if you have something like a laptop with a couple of ports, you could chuck plug this into your laptop, plug your phone into the laptop, kind of daisy chain devices in that type of way. Um, but I think this is really for somebody looking for a travel adapter, one device, maybe two devices that are going to swap back and forth. Um, you know, very small. It's kind of heavy for the size, but I think that's just the density of, you know, packing a 45 watt power adapter into this thing here. I mean, that's a little bigger than a cubic inch, but it's not, I don't think, you know, it's, it's more than two cubic inches here, even including those prongs.